Hi, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Kim Fisher, Mindset and Manifesting Coach, the creator of the Rise Revolution and MMM, the Manifesting Mastery Membership. So today I wanted to talk with you about something that comes up for a lot of women when the path toward empowerment, the path toward change, the path toward manifesting, and, and really anytime we're going against an old paradigm or old story we have. Fear. Fear, how do we work with it? How do we actually befriend it? Do we want it to befriend it? What gets to happen? How does my life get to be? What are my moves when it comes to actually taking action? Something that scares me. How do we tease apart the difference between I'm fearful and I shouldn't go, I shouldn't take action, and I'm fearful, but I, sh I should take action because actually those are both truths. A lot of time in your life, you are going to have to make choices and decisions and take action with something that you want and something that you should be doing, something that's perfectly aligned for you. Yet you will have to make that choice with fear as almost a partner in that decision. Where we get stuck is when we think that fear should be eliminated in order for you to make a choice. We get in this dichotomy, this contrast thinking of, well, fear will subside and that'll be the signal or that'll be the sign that it, it's time for me to make this move, that this is correct and this is aligned for me. But that's not always the case. And in my, like, in my experience, I'm always doing something that scares the shit out of me. Like, really, I'm always doing something that pushes against my boundaries of comfort or that really dismantles my old paradigm because that's just who I am. I'm a thought leader. I'm an entrepreneur. I am someone who likes to have the fiery energy of passion. If you're into human design, I'm a manifesting generator with a four, six profile. This really states that I am someone who is constantly in a let's create. And if I can see clearly how to create it, well, then my manifesting side of me kicks in and I just go. So for me, I had to really be clear with myself and learn that fear doesn't have to leave the room in order for me to take action on a full body yes. Fear doesn't have to leave or be extinguished before I can actually feel courageous. Fear doesn't have to leave the room for me to be right. Most of the time, we believe that isn't true, that actually fear does need to leave the room before you can actually feel confident. So I want to turn that on your head for you and challenge your thinking if that is you. What are you waiting to do right now? What are you waiting to do that you know you want to do, that you do a great job at, that you would like excel at, like it makes your skin tingle, you're so excited for it? What is that thing? And let me ask you, is fear there? Is fear present when you think about it? Probably, yeah, right? And and that's very natural. That's a human response. Typically, we feel fear when we are doing something new. So there's fear of failure. There's fear of change. There's fear of not knowing and looking like a beginner. Like There's all different types of psychological fear that we can encounter when we are about to or are on the path of doing something new. So first thing, just know that. Just get your head around that. I'm going to feel fear as I'm going through life and trying to change. And then also, I would highly, highly encourage you to see that as a good sign. If you're feeling fear, you're probably doing something new. And newness can be really good for growth and your personal development and becoming that like high achieving, high vibe goddess who's just like, wow, you're exciting to be around because you have learned and uncracked this code that fear doesn't need to be removed from the situation in order for you to shine. And that's a really powerful place to be in. Like, I'm learning that my fear is actually a really great strength because once I show people that I'm vulnerable and I show people that you know, I'm dealing with fear as I take these big actions in life and as I let things crumble and rebuild and as I declare that I'm going through challenging times or challenge or even I don't declare I'm going through challenging times. I just show you my sensitive side. People rally. That's when my community gets even stronger because I actually have learned that being afraid and being um, uncomfortable is actually a place for me to start to voice 
what I'm going through. Do you see what I'm saying? So now I get to role model for you guys. I get to say, hey, like life isn't perfect for me right now, but here I am on YouTube. And here I am investing even more time in YouTube. I just rebranded. You're going to be seeing me every single week with a video on top of the podcast videos as well. So like I'm here, baby, and I'm not going anywhere. And the reason I decided to declare that and do this during a, actually right now, personally, I'm going through um, a lot of shifts and more to come on that. I just can't speak to it specifically right now, but I decided that I'm not going to let fear stop me. I would have if I thought it needed to leave. Like fear leaving isn't the green light. It's not even about fear. It's about just knowing it's going to be there and recognizing, like flipping fear into curiosity. Can I stay curious when fear is present? Can I reframe fear so that when fear is here, I actually say, ooh, this is something new. Cool. Because when I go and I do that new thing that brought me fear, I'm going to grow. So here's my next tip for you on top of all of those. Think about who you're going to get to be and think about when you're done with a thing, when you finish the thing that scares you, think about how it's going to feel. I find that giving my brain that mental exercise of projecting myself into the future allows me to feel the end result now. So I, it, it's it's impossible to think of a great accomplishment and not feel it now, right? Like you you can't think about starting a business because that scares you. That should scare you. When you start a business, that scares you, but you do it anyhow. And then you get to think about how proud you feel. You get to think about how accomplished you feel. You get to think about all the money you'll make. You get to think about all the people you'll impact and how they'll, they're going to go out and tell their friends and family. And the impact just keeps going. And like that starts to open you up and you start to feel, wow, this is a big deal. Oh my God. Like, I'm so glad I get to do this. And holy moly. And your skin starts to tingle and maybe you get a nice sacral response or your heart starts to swell a little bit. And you're like, wow, your pupils dilate. You get a little sweaty. You start to get thirsty. Like all of these sort of beautiful human biofeedback responses start to happen as a sign that you're getting excited for the thing that you're going to do. That becomes then louder than fear. And what we do in that moment is we're creating a new muscle memory in a sense. So when you're afraid, think about the outcome. When I do this, what's it going to feel like when I'm done? What's it going to feel like that I did it despite fear being in the room? What you're going to train your brain to understand is that when fear is present, you can still take big swings. You can still take big action. You can still trust that your sacred yes, even though maybe there's a shadow of fear, you still have a yes and you can go forward on your dreams. And then the more you practice that, just like anything, the more you practice anything, you will get better at it, right? So let's start to practice taking action while fear is present. Let me give you a really um like a, a like a low hanging fruit a low bar example. Let's say you wanted to repaint a wall in your house. But you know, a part of you is like I don't want to play it safe. I actually want to paint like a really wild fun color here, like a bright blue or black or charcoal or something cool like that, which maybe those aren't even wild colors anymore. Maybe like a Bright pink, right? Like you don't see that too much trending in Pinterest or Instagram or anything. So bright pink wall. Right next to that sacred yes is is a feeling of no fucking way, right? (laughs) Hell yeah versus that's a bad decision. What will people think? Will I like this in the long run? How much money will that cost? What, you know, will this go with all my furniture? Is Is this safe? What does this say about me if I'm being so bold? All of that fear was right there. What I want you to do is paint the fucking wall anyway. Okay. Will you do that for me? Take that color and put it on the stupid wall and be done with it and stand back. Even if you hate it afterwards, you can always reprime and paint. Like we know that you know this, right? About paint. Okay, good. This is a fun exercise for your brain to go. Okay. One, we didn't die when I took action with fear being there. And two, you might just love the pink wall. You might go, Oh my God, some pinks are actually so soothing and comforting. I don't know about you, but I, you might stand back and go, wow, this was actually a great decision. I love this. And then in that moment, what I want you to do, and this is key, is to reflect on what that did for you. Because what you'll train your brain to know and start to learn is that when I say go and we're doing it, that even with fear being present, that it's still the right decision. 
and your brain will start to learn and you'll reroute yourself quickly. You'll reframe faster in the future that when you have are presented with a choice or a new adventure you want to, or a new business opportunity or a new job, a new a new like romantic relationship even. When fear enters the situation, you're going to have so much evidence in the past of, you know, buying that new car or um, asking that person on a date or repainting your wall or starting to, you know, maybe you make your IG page and you're like, hey, I'm here now or do what I'm doing, making a YouTube channel, just showing up more frequently. Those all produce different flavors of fear. And the more you exposure, the more practice you get with playing with the element of fear and still doing the damn thing, the more you're going to reframe your entire life. This is really what's going to catapult you from someone who plays dead when fear's in the room and someone who's overthinking and never really starts to take action on their dreams into someone who's willing to listen to that voice inside that says, hey, you can do this. You're meant to do this. That would be so exciting if you could do it. Oh my God, I can visualize the impact. I can see it. I can more than see it. I can feel it right now. And it's such a great feeling. And that is what you can use to catapult you into the most incredible situations where the world gets to see what you're really made of. And you get to demonstrate all of your gifts because I know you've got gifts. I know they're sitting there, but we're letting fear stop us. So I hope this helps you deeply and serves you. Would you do me a favor? If you love this, drop a comment below. I would love to interact with you and hear what your biggest takeaways were. So put a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you use utilizing these skills in your life. And do me a favor and subscribe as well because I'm going to be coming in hot every week, maybe even more than once a week with incredible tools and gifts for you uh, to really level up your life and use holistic strategy to get focused, take action, and rise into the person you are meant to be. I love you guys. Thanks so much for being here and I will talk to you soon.